looks like the PMRDA is slowly picking up steam. The Maharashtra government has extended the area under the jurisdiction of the Pune Metropolitan Development Authority or the PMRDA to contain the city's unruly growth. Ruchi Deshpande tracks the Pune market and she gets us the details. Ruchi, tell us uh, how much area will the PMRDA develop now? It looks like Pune is on its way to becoming the largest uh, urban body in the state of Maharashtra. Now reports tell us that the Maharashtra government last night went ahead and uh, went ahead and extended the boundaries uh, uh, boundaries under which uh, the area of Pune will fall under the PMRDA or the Pune Metropolitan Regional uh, Development Authority. And uh, yes, this area is definitely more than what the MMRDA has. In fact, the area under uh, PMRDA's uh, development is 30% uh, more than that uh, under MMRDA. Just to take you through the numbers uh, as to how large this area really is, uh, the PMRD earlier had a jurisdiction over 3,300 uh, kilometer, square kilometers of land and comprised of about 450 villages. Now this has nearly doubled to 6,600 square kilometers and uh, about 800 villages in, in all. This also brings the, uh, the population of uh, this entire area up to 1.9 crore. Uh, when we spoke to the P, uh, when we spoke to the PMRDA, they told us that one uh, point five, uh, one point one and a half years from now is the deadline that they have given to complete the development of all the area under the PMRDA. And the approach they're using is uh, a population-based survey, according to which or after which uh, the infrastructure and the projects for uh, this will be accordingly decided. Just to give you a brief background, uh, the uh, PMRDA was established this year uh, as the apex development body of, uh, of Pune. In fact, uh, this happened in March uh, 2015 and uh, it also it includes the PMC, uh, the PCMC as well as two other municipal corporations in addition to which now there will be Saswar, uh, Rajgurunagar and Chakan uh, under the PMRDA.